Okay, so right now we're in this BMW. Um, it's an E46 3 Series 2003 model. Um, I'm just going to show you on the dashboard actually that we do have an engine management light showing there. Also, the airbag light is illuminated as well. Um, so what we're going to do is we're going to use this tool to actually diagnose the faults. This is the C110 which is available from um, bavariandominator.co.uk or diagnostic-world.com um, It's a very neat and handy tool to have. Um, the, the suspect the reason for the engine management light being on is that um, the vehicle is running quite rough. Um, basically when you're starting it, it's sort of um, it's rough idle and it cuts out. Also at junctions as well, you have to keep quite a bit of gas on otherwise it will cut out. Um, so this tool should give us the answer. Um, so what we're going to do first of all is we're going to diagnose, we're going to select the vehicle that we're in and it's a 3 series, it's an E46 and we'll just have a look at the driver, so the DME is the engine. At this stage it is important to, to note that the ignition is on just so that the tool can actually communicate. It's just doing what it needs to do here. Shouldn't take too long. There we go. So it's just giving a bit of uh, information there, vehicle information, and we will read the trouble code. So it's telling us a few trouble codes actually. Uh, first of all, thermal oil level sensor. Oh, hang on. Um, there's an unknown one there. Uh, rough road, alternator communication, and then hot film air mass flow sensor. That's the that's one of the main ones that we thought would come up. Um, it's it's indicating a fault with the MAF or the mass airflow meter. Um, so what we're going to do is we're going to swap that out. Also the camshaft, we've got two camshaft messages as well. Uh, so they'll relate to the camshaft um, sensors. So we'll get those swapped over as well and then the faults can be cleared. Well incidentally, I mean, uh, let's click back there. You can actually right now if you wanted erase these trouble codes like we've just done. Um, but it's probably not wise, it's pointless because they are going to come back unless you actually fix the problem with the vehicle then those fault codes are generally going to come back after a few cycles of the diagnostic run uh, on the vehicle so it's in your best interest to actually get them fixed then erase the fault codes and then if the if the fault is in fact fixed then you know they won't come back um, but there it is um, while we're here actually we also have the airbag light showing now I do actually know what the problem is with the airbag light but I'll just show you it since we've got this uh, tool here SRS airbag and again just a bit of information and then read the trouble codes so it's telling us that the belt tensioner front passenger there's a problem with that um, that I also I, I do know about that. It's just a connection under the front passenger seat, uh, which once we connect that back up, we can erase the trouble code and the airbag light will be distinguished. Um, so there it is. It's a quick run through just to show how the C110 tool can actually diagnose uh, faults on your BMW. As I say, you can pick this up from uh, either www.bavariandominator.co.uk or www.diagnosticworld diagnostic-world.com uh, Thanks for watching.